Hello everyone and welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, the new uh, Cricut adhesive foil. A um, couple of things that I've been struggling with so I thought I'd just give some tips. Um, this stuff is, it comes in a roll so it's very stiff and it just wants to curl up um, like this. So I tape it down uh, to my mat with just regular uh, scotch tape. It peels up um, easily and um, it will also um, cut through it without any problem um, too if you um, put it where you're going to cut at. So that's um, not, a, not an issue. Um, so let me finish peeling off these pieces of tape. Okay, and the next thing I do to make it easier to work with is I just cut my images apart from each other. Okay, now let's just work with one. So, this is the hardest part is separating the liner from the material. Okay, once you got it going, peel it back flat. You see that? Peel it back flat like that. Okay. Alright, as I was saying before my phone rang, peel it back flat. And this is by far the easiest way to get it to come out and leave what you want there. Alright, then you just take your pick, go at it sideways, and remove all your other pieces. This definitely does take practice. And there you go. All we did. Alright, so let's put the transfer tape on. And I use and reuse my transfer tape. I probably used the same piece ten times or more before I uh, toss it out. Sometimes I find that it's easier when it's it's not as sticky. And again, even on this part, peel it back flat. Okay, now I've got my piece all weeded. Um, got any little bits of paper that did um, cut out um, on there. And here's my mug. So usually you want to have your whatever on the outside so when somebody's holding their mug, um, it faces out. So. If you're doing it for a specific individual, you should know if they're left or right-handed, um, so you know which side to put it on. Um, I'm doing this for family members, and everybody is right-handed, so I am going to put it on this side of the muck. So, let's see. I'm just going to use a block to kind of hold up the handle. Just 
smooth it down, go from one side to the other, and then take your scraping tool and really rub over everything hard. So you want to make sure you get everything scrubbed down. Alright, and again, you're going to just peel it back um, flat, and if you have something that comes up, put it down and burnish it some more. And here's where I think if your um, transfer tape is not as sticky, comes in really handy. really thin there so it's not wanting to come off so we're just going to help it a little bit there we go all right return your transfer tape to the liner so it can be used on the next one so there you go and you probably want to go back over and mash down on everything once again but that's looking pretty good I'm liking it I hope my relatives like this for Christmas we're all a bunch of wine drinkers so what better thing to have for a wine drinker than a mug that says this is probably wine because it probably is Oh, and one other thing I wanted to tell you about the foil when you're cutting it, um, be sure and set your machine on custom and go to the menu because there is a, a specific setting for the um, foil, adhesive foil uh, product. So um, be sure you uh, do that and don't just set it on vinyl. Uh, it will cut better on, the, uh, on its correct setting. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this.